uh, this is going to be a really short, it's going to be part two, and I'm not going to go and afford to burn computer like this to join these files together. I, I did not properly finish the previous video recording. Sure enough, I am. Um, Sure enough, I'm repairing, referring to part one of why I rejected Harry's memoirs, assistance, and Buckingham Palace as whole. This here, this is what's going to be. Sure enough, I did not, I did not explain that this madness, the idea of this madness behind this madness was exactly what Psychiatrist, some even from the Don of Polia told me, they'll try to fuck you for you to say something that you want to do something to them, and that's basically where you're gonna have ambulance vehicle stopping by, and you're only gonna get to see them in your dreams, on the news, maybe in media. That was the grand idea, the main idea about all this stuff. The second thing that I failed to mention about this big boom, because you collect more and more weight, you gain weight, you gain more and more weight, frustration. Interesting enough, Heron William insisted me how I have to keep lean, slender, that I have to look at them all the time, how slim they are, how slender they are. Yeah, that was a, that was their psychology. Their psychology was based on this. Their psychology was based on the really filthier than filthy stuff in which they involved Hollywood people inside. And for every failure you get, insisting also through the mainstream media that I could give examples, encouraging on how you have to defeat this no matter what this color is and you have to go and exercise and this and that and they sample that through the hollywood people such as joseph baena from arnold schwarzenegger's son to compete with him and his physique and so on and so forth that i said this and so on importantly that when this case comes out that you look like uh with a super physique and so on. Well, often a really, really no glimpse, no reality, not even physicians that I mentioned knew about this caffeine, whatever was done to me with a caffeine feature they introduced in my body in 2015 in Ljubljana. Either that was done surgically, I was either that was done whichever way they have done it, it was ever since that I started to accumulate, that I started to suffer more and more and more from the problem that I explained in part of one video. That basically with each cup of coffee, lack of sleep started to accumulate till eventually would crush you uh, to the degree that no longer you possibly could afford yourself a cup of coffee because the sleep would be reduced to three, four hours of sleep a day. Once you would try to recover yourself from the coffee, it would take you another two days, just as I stated, consuming enormous amounts of food to cope, to get yourself together somehow, some way, and go about your life. So this was like, for every problem, it was encouragement that followed. Not only body shaming, but encouragement that followed. The expectations of the people who caused this evil followed. Frustration, in other words, frustrating, destroying, body shaming, destroying person, person basically and physically, mentally, psychologically, basically ruining person, annihilating individual through the medical procedure, literally destroying, destroying person, eating person on in and out completely. That's the important stuff I simply did not mention. 
a very difficult one that is thought that even by Joe Biden, American president it became, no wonder, act against people like this in absolutely any way. I was thought memoirs are going to depend on you, what you're going to be writing, that's what's going to come out of us. Uh, if you're going to be writing like this, it's going to be like that. The worst that can happen, we're not going to even mention you, and so on and so forth. Very difficult when you get a reference from American president that you would even touch the subject like this, that when he insists you that he got this stuff for you, so that he's going to help you out, this is going to be all for your help, this is all going to be for your sake, that most of the people would even go uh, after voracious attitude like this. Joe Biden, who did demonstrated me in 2000 and prior to departure to Poland, 2018, uh, they claimed me that, well, it sure it felt like felt like a cancer treatment through some kind of pills which I understand didn't work and then as a last resource they used uh, injection they injected me with something in some spot in the body could have been the left side arm whatever it was that that's exactly what they did very unlikely when the man like this when the US president tells you that it's medications that are being used on you to save your life and will be used again in the future only however if you're gonna act nicely if you're gonna keep your mouth shut you take the shit and become eventually mentally ill very unlikely the person like this would not become mentally ill very unlikely that person like this would even go and open their mouths that's what Joe Biden have allowed himself that these vaccines the stuff the medications that was given that were given to me they're not even accessible to the broad public that people would kill for them you know that's Joe Biden the main core another main core I left out of this stuff here you're gonna say but why why didn't you realize that this this kind of procedure is killing you why didn't you realize any of this stuff because as I mentioned partially earlier uh, it was real poisoning that was also present along the way in Poland and I think at home 100% certain of it uh, because it was food exactly involved in MKH that was brought through the controlled budget throne whether you're going to take it or not under circumstances lack of sleep go about the day just do your shit trust me and you take it you consume that's poisoning because and that is the main because because when they tell you about the poisoning when they tell you about the gas poisoning when they talk to you about directed energy attacks they play with the phones they put the phones in the heads they tell you how this house all radiates how it's all this how it's all that it's really strange house the people that were here realized that it was just strange the way it radiated everything everywhere and so on uh, but this was not the the main thing the main thing was that because when they tell you when they enter your property when they destroy you your things during your absence in your room when they dis when sometimes they destroy you just like sometimes they poison you the food not always but sometimes if there's no other way to gain the traction back they poison just as sometimes to gain the traction to get that attention from you that they insisted you during mk ultra on how you're going to have things destroyed they'll destroy you certain thing just as you turn around they'll go and they'll rip one you're going to leave this in one room something zick and it's destroyed when you come back just to get the tension going basically and why would they do this kind of stuff? Well, they do this kind of stuff so that you don't assume there could have been coffee that's doing this kind of stuff to you. So that's why it took almost five years for me to recall 
that something bad happened in year 2015, that Zoran Jankovic, Milan Kuchan insisted, demanded with the power for me to be extra tested through the medical facility in Ljubljana and in Novo Mesto to establish that the damage was done to the degree that I would not be. That's why, that's why it was all that stuff about diabetes, about the brain cancer, about all this shit they grew in me, acoustic attacks, all that stuff, directed energy, all that tooth infection, you know, the tooth infection, that's what it did since 1995. Mm -hmm. The main factor in this case is actually caffeine, 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 it's caffeine. That's the deadliest factor. Whatever they have done, whatever kind of surgery, uh, whatever they have done, American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith insisted that that's the case that you can actually use that was done, that you can prove that it's a one in a billion, depending on health, he said. Back then, if you would have done it, you could prove, but I think that probably even today, that this is a very, very irregular stuff that could be medically proven that something, I don't know what, how, but it got something to do with the cells and it's got with some kind of a sensory issue that proves it was not, it, it couldn't be even in a natural way. If you would look in a natural way and then it will be something like one in a billion. That's what they claim beyond the MK Ultra. And that's how you accumulate weight. You actually accumulate weight by trying to do the right thing by trying to go about it and the worst part about it is over the course of the time you exhaust yourself you exhaust yourself because you do everything possible every every time you try to cure yourself you try to do stuff it takes a sacrifice and guess what you end up in a worse position than you did before coffee folks the sleep deprivation uh that's a killer and it's not about the number of hours you're laying down but about the quality of sleep itself. Yeah, for the last two days, I barely got my shit going, barely got myself together, but the sleep, regardlessly, uh, is heading back to normal. If I'm not gonna repeat the mistake with caffeine again, because I know that as long as I have sleep, I have a chance. Chance with what I stated earlier, it's known as a meal and every meal is a chance to heal your body rather than poison yourself because without the sleep trust me the chance to heal your body to choose the right food it's an amount of food and everything else is restricted to amount of sleep you fail 100 percent over the course of the time it's just exactly what they predicted me the case is going to be. It's exactly this kind of... It's exactly this kind of cast. That's exactly, that's exactly what it did. Crash, boom, down over the course of the time. They insisted me some failed within the six months. And they did because I watched how the people exploded in weight. Others exploded in weight within a year. Some even within two years but they all eventually crashed, they all eventually failed. All the test subjects did, sooner than later. Uh, because the sleep deprivation, that's a killer number one. That was the main thing I failed. I, may, I failed to mention that it took me five years that I couldn't get to this due to the factors known here, as I state, so-called madness. They like to use even madness is a very bad word. Madness is a really bad word. But they like this about the madness because it's interesting, because it's madness. Even the madness really is what I described in a part number one. This is nothing funny about it. This is something that strictly should be condemned and investigated and all the effort should be done to arrest people to apprehend people like this immediately because it's actually compelling person into a suicide there is no such thing as fucking madness madness does not exist 
The only thing that exists is what I stated. Through the madness, yeah, through the madness, and through what I demonstrated here on my new site about bullshit that I talked about, director energy, all kinds of attacks, all kinds of poisoning, all kinds of stuff like this, you don't assume that it could be coffee. You assume that it's not the right coffee. They used all kinds of coffees, I told you, from the stores, from all variety of products. You assume eventually the one coffee is better than the other because this is what they brainwash you with. You assume that maybe somebody poisoned you because they brainwash with this kind of issue. You assume all kinds of theories you come up, they came up during MK Ultra, but you don't assume that actually something was done to you for you to not even think about consuming caffeine of any kind because eventually it's going to kill you. And that's what it is. When you start to I don't know the right word, but when you start to pile up this lack of sleep, when you start to more and more and more and more, just exactly the cycle that I described, you are sentenced, 100% you are sentenced to death. That's a 100% death sentence.